हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज जेंडरल स्कैन लाइन पॉलीगॉन फिल अलगोरिथम ओके सो वी नो दैट व्हाट इज अ पॉलीगॉन पॉलीगॉन इज नथिंग बट एनी क्लोज्ड फिगर विथ विच हैज सम एजेस एंड वर्टाइसिस दैट इज नोन एज अ पॉलीगॉन सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ पॉलीगॉन आर ट्रायंगल स्क्वायर रेक्टेंगल हेक्सागॉन ऑक्टागॉन डेकागॉन एनीथिंग ओके सो एज द एजेस गोज ऑन इंक्रीजिंग ऑल दे विल बी coming under uh, the general word polygon apart from drawing this polygon we would like to fill this polygon with some color with some specific color okay so if you want to fill this polygon with some color we need to know all the pixels inside this polygons as well as the pixels that are at the border of the polygon so if we know all those pixels inside and at the border of the polygon then we will be able to color this polygon with the specific color so we need to fill the polygon with the specific color for that we need to find out all the pixels interior to a polygon and at its border okay so there is one polygon fill algorithm and that algorithm is known as general scan line polygon fill algorithm okay so here what is happening is you all know that this is a two dimensional axis this is zero x axis and y axis and uh, both zero and y initially will be at the origin and x goes on increasing from left to right and y in goes on increasing from bottom to top so this at the end is x max and this at the end is y max it goes on decrementing by one and these lines are known as scan lines okay so here you have a particular polygon and this is a triangle so what we will do is we'll make use of the scan lines uh, to fill the polygon with some colors for example this is a particular scan line when a scan line is passing through the edges of a polygon just try to find out the intersection points of those scan lines to those edges for example this is one intersection point and this is two this is the another intersection point this is eight so the intersection points of the scan line with the edges of a polygon that you store it in a frame buffer so you have stored it here it is 2 8 and this will call it as one pair okay so this values have to be stored in a sorted order okay so here what they have given is here the color is filled with the help of the scan lines find the intersection between the scan lines and the edges the two points that is 2 comma 8 is stored in the frame buffer in the sorted order and pixels are colored from 2 to 8 that means once you know the intersection points you store it in the buffer and all the pixels that is coming from 2 to 8 those all pixels you color it from uh, all pixels you color it with a specific color okay so same way you draw a scan line like this you find out the intersection point store it in a buffer then all those pixels you color it with a specific color so this is the method of using the scan line to fill a polygon with a specific color consider one more uh, complicated polygon here here you can see that the scan uh, scan line is passing through this polygon so it has intersection point 1 2 3 and 4 so the first intersection point is 2 4 8 and 12 so store all this uh, intersection point in the buffer so 2 to 4 will become one pair and 8 to 12 will become one pair so what you will have to do is you will have to color all the pixels from 2 to 4 and all the pixels from 8 to 12 okay so when you all are making use of scan line to fill a particular polygon there are some cases or conditions to be considered for example this is one polygon and you can see that this is the scan line okay and the intersection point is this this and this okay and as we can see the intersection point has intersected to a vertex of the polygon so this is a vertex okay so this intersection point is 2 this is 8 and this is 12 okay so when you store it in a buffer that is 2 8 12 12 they become odd number of intersection points so you cannot pair them like this 
okay so what is the solution is whenever a scan line is passing through the vertex of a polygon that vertex has to be considered as two intersection points okay so here which is the vertex 8 we'll consider 8 it is two intersection point that is the first pair will be from 2 to 8 and the second pair will be from 8 to 12 okay so you go on coloring the uh, pixels from 2 to 8 and then next you go on coloring the pixels from 8 to 12 so whenever a poly, uh, scan line is passing through the vertex of a polygon that time the vertex has to be considered as two intersection point because with the three intersection points we cannot make a pair but see in this example here the scan line is there okay this is one intersection point and this is one intersection point and this point is the vertex of that polygon so this intersection point is 2 and this intersection point is 12 you store it in a buffer but here it is uh, two intersection points so it has become a pair so here we are considering vertex as one intersection point but here in the above example we are considering the vertex as two intersection points so we need to know when to consider the vertex as 2 and when to consider the vertex as 1. Here you can see that the scan line is passing through a vertex here also and there is a even number of intersection points so that you can make a pair and here vertex should be considered as only one intersection point and here the vertex should be considered as two intersection points so we need to know when that vertex should be considered as two and when it has to be considered as one so we saw that when to consider the vertex as two intersection point and when to consider it as one intersection point so there is one solution for that what is the solution traverse the edges in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction and observe the values of y for example this is a polygon okay they have told traverse the polygon either in clockwise direction or in anti-clockwise the direction okay and this is the value of x and this is the value of y you all know that first uh, value of y is y max then next values it goes on decreasing okay so when you all are traveling in the clockwise direction you can see that the value of y is decreasing continuously okay it is decreasing continuously here they are saying that if y value is monotonically decreasing that means continuously decreasing then consider that point as only one intersection point that means here you have to consider it as one intersection point that means although it is a vertex don't take it as two intersection point take it as one intersection point that is when you are traversing it in clockwise direction and if the value of y is continuously decreasing then you consider it as one point let us see the same example when it is traversing in the anti-clockwise direction so when it is traversing in the anti-clockwise direction you can see the value of y is continuously increasing so same case if the value of y is monotonically increasing then consider it as one intersection point that means you have to consider it as 2 12 and this will become one pair so go on coloring all the pixels from 2 to 12 so this is the solution that whenever a scan line is passing through a vertex and the value of y is continuously decreasing or continuously increasing then you have to consider that vertex as only one intersection point so there it will become a pair but in case of this example okay so when you are going in the clockwise direction here you can see that the value of y is sometimes decreasing and the value of y is sometimes increasing so in this case when the value of y is decreasing and the value of y is increasing that time the vertex has to be considered as two intersection points okay so here it will be 2 to 8 and 8 to 12 so what they're saying is in the case at in this case at one edge the value of y is decreasing and the other edge it is increasing then that time consider the vertex as two intersection point and not as one intersection point so this will be one pair this will be one pair so when you all are seeing that if it is in clockwise then if it is uh, uh, decreasing as well as increasing consider it as two intersection points same example in uh, anti-clockwise direction 
okay so here you can see that when you're going in anti-clockwise direction at this edge it is decreasing and this edge it is increasing so in this case at one edge the value of y is increasing at one edge the value of y is decreasing then that time also you consider the vertex as a two intersection point okay so from this examples we'll come to know that when a polygon is traversed in clockwise or anti-clockwise if the value of y is continuously increasing or continuously decreasing consider the point it as only one vertex point okay one intersection point if it is sometimes increasing and sometimes decreasing then consider it as two intersection points there is one more approach to find the number of intersection points for example if these are the edges okay and these are the scan lines for example this is the scan line y plus 1 scan line y scan line y minus 1 it, the scan lines values y values goes on decreasing when uh, these edges are there when you are traversing through those edges you will have to just decrease the value of y by 1 that means if it is y means you decrease the value of y it will come at y minus 1 that time you have to consider that point as one intersection point same way here when you're coming traversing through those edges okay if you have come through those edges you will have to just decrement the value of y so that that point will be considered as only one intersection point this is one more approach but the most used approach is the previous one okay in the same way consider this particular polygon and these are nothing but the scan lines this is scan line yk plus 1 and this is scan line yk okay and these are the points here so this point is nothing but xk yk and this point is nothing but xk plus 1 yk plus 1 that is these are the initial values and these are the next values so for from this diagram you can see that the slope m is we know that uh, slope m is nothing but the difference between y divided by the difference between x so from this diagram the slope will be m is equals to yk plus 1 minus yk divided by xk plus 1 minus xk from yk if you want to know the next value of yk plus 1 okay so you all know that the next value of yk is nothing but you have to just increment the values by 1 okay so if you want to know the next value of y from yk you have to just increment the value by 1 for example you have this equation here yk plus 1 minus yk is equals to 1 so this is nothing but yk plus 1 is equals to yk plus 1 that is if this is the initial value of y and this you if you add 1 to it you will get the next value of yk plus 1 okay that means if you want to get the next values of y you have to just go on incrementing by 1 for y but if you want to know the next value of x that is not possible by incrementing it by 1 so if you want to know the next value of x that is the initial value is xk and this is the next value of x so if you want to get the next value of x you have to add the reverse of the slope to it that means this is the initial value of x and this is the reverse of this slope if you add this both then you will get the next value of xk that is xk plus 1 what is m m is nothing but delta y divided by delta x delta x is nothing but difference among uh, y values and x is nothing but difference among x values so by this one this equation becomes xk plus 1 is nothing but xk plus reverse of m is delta x divided by delta y so this diagram shows that what is m value how to get the next value of y by using the initial value of y that is adding 1 to it and this equation says that how you will get the next value of x by using the initial value of y and adding the reverse of the slope. So these formulas we require to solve the problems for polygon fill algorithm.